welcome back to my channel. I know it's been uh, a little bit of a long time since we've seen each other. I apologize. I have been tired, baby. Really tired. But I am back now and I am here today with a review for the Lancome Miracle Cushion Foundation. This is the newest Lancome foundation that they have for their company. And um, I guess it's kind of innovative because it's, well, let me show you. This is the packaging, love the packaging. Of course, it's Lancome, so I don't expect anything but incredible packaging. So, so it has a mirrored case like this, and then there's a button here. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but you push this button, and the top pops open like this. And here is that beautiful cushion, which you're supposed to use to apply it to your face, the foundation, and underneath that, you open it just like this so as you can see I have not opened it yet um, this is brand new so I will take the seal off for the first time and this is how it looks it is literally literally a cushion so yeah it's, it's like an actual cushion so the foundation is in this cushion sponge like thing right here and the way it it was applied to me when I went to get shade matched at my Lancome counter the girl used a foundation brush so she took the foundation brush I'm very tongue-tied today so please excuse me but anyway she took the foundation brush and she pressed it in and she applied it like that and um, it looked great, so um, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to use the cushion. But the only question I have, and I actually forgot to ask the person that was shade matching me this, is this, are we supposed to just keep using this for the rest of our lives? Or can we buy new ones? And if we're supposed to buy new ones, um, how often should we change it? Like, I, I don't... I don't understand, can this be washed? How does it get clean? And are we supposed to continuously use this this uh, this little pad? I like it, it's really soft, and it, from the other reviews that I've watched, it applies this perfectly, and it really does make sense with the foundation and everything, but what, what happens after, <laughs> like, do we keep using this is my question. I would like to know that. I wanna know if we're supposed to continuously use this sponge thing so if anyone knows please leave it in the comment section let me know what I'm supposed to do because uh, I don't know I'm a little bit germaphobic so I wash my brushes meticulously I like I really try to take a good care of my skin and I'm having like two one two three pimples right now that are just really trying to piss me off but I'm calm it's been very stressful for me to be a stress pimple. But anyway, I like to take care of my skin. I don't want to reuse something over and over and over again because I feel like it would just be building up oil and dirt and keep putting it back onto my skin. So if anyone knows what the answer is to this question, please leave it in the comment section, okay? So I guess we'll just get started, right? Right? All right. If you want to see how this foundation turns out on me, please keep on.
it. Um, this is, it feels good. It feels like soft and lightweight. So I like that about it so far. But um, the shade that I have is 500 Suede W. And that is the second darkest shade. The darkest is, I think, 550 or maybe it's 560. And um, I had both shades tested on me. And the 550 was too dark. Like, it was so beautiful. It really, really was. But it was like, it made me look purple instead of what my complexion is. So that was too dark. And then this 500 is too light. Especially when I initially put it on, it's too light. Like, it's too light. But when it oxidizes a little bit, I don't think it oxidizes much, but when it oxidizes just a tiny bit and then I finish the face with the highlight and contour, it all works. So um, I'm going to finish my face, finish doing all of my makeup, and then I will get back to you all on all of my thoughts on this foundation and if I would recommend that you guys go out and get it, okay? I'll be right back. All right guys, so I have on the Lancome foundation now. I did my full face and um, well, so my review for this foundation is that it's good. It's really, really good. It's a great high-end foundation, but I just don't think that it's necessary. Honestly, I don't feel like this is a must-have foundation. I feel like it's good for your makeup arsenal, but it's not really anything that you need to be jumping for joy over or you need to like pre-order if it's sold out or something like that. I just, I'm not amazed by it. I think that it's, it's pretty innovative technology with um, the whole cushion aspect of it, like that cushion part. I think that's that's great but I also feel like I have less control because of the cushion like when I use this um, this sponge pad whatever thing that they have for you to apply the foundation with this works great I totally back them doing this I think that this was great but I still need to know <laughs> like what's next isn't this gonna get like crusty or something? Or do I need to put water on it? Like what do I do? Can I reuse this? And for how long can I reuse this? Because it's impossible that I can reuse this for forever. So first off, um, once you use it, you're supposed to put it back here, but then this gets dirty. And I don't like that. I don't like for my things to be dirty at all. That's, that's just, I don't like it. And then um, this one, you really be careful when you're using this, if you get it, pressing this in just press it lightly because one press that you think is light when you're initially doing it brings out so much product and you don't even know there's a lot of product until you start putting it on your face like when um you saw me do the um the um the application earlier in this video and when i did it i like put a lot on this side and I didn't know that I was putting a lot because this sponge is deceptive and then this sponge is deceptive too so I don't like the sponge because I feel like I don't have maybe I don't have enough skills in order to possess the amount of control needed to get the right amount out at a time but um, I'm really not a fan of this this sponge situation the foundation itself is very good I love the foundation feels very lightweight, very soft. You can tell it's a high-end foundation. And I really, really, really like the packaging also. I like the mirrored packaging. But I wouldn't expect anything less from Lancome. I, I love Lancome, I love their products. But this, this foundation just doesn't, it's not screaming amazing to me, you know what I mean? It's just like, like yelling a little bit like, ah, oh, I'm good. It's not like, yes, I'm good, you know what I mean? just good it's just a good foundation a great foundation but I wouldn't recommend you go and break your neck to get this foundation because I'm sure there's other foundations that are just like it or better 
The only thing about this foundation is like a bag of tricks because it has the poppable lid. And then it has this thing, the sponge, and then it has this poppable lid, and then there's a sponge in there, and it's just like, oh, that's interesting. So it's an interesting foundation, but it's not something that I'm wowed by. And the biggest issue that I have with this foundation, I really don't have any issues with it, actually. But the only thing that, that I don't like is their shade range. As far as dark shades go, this shade that I'm wearing, 500 Suede Warm, is the second darkest shade and if you watch the the beginning part of this video to see me put on the foundation it was clearly not my skin tone at all um, after 500 suede warm which is what I have is 550 suede warm and that is way too dark that's like um, I had both of them tested on me to see which one I was gonna get and the five 50 suede was like purple on me it it looked gorgeous of course like because that that really dark skin that really 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 true dark chocolate skin complexion is just to die for but you could tell it wasn't for me because it wasn't my undertone it was like a purple undertone and I'm like a golden red neutral type of undertone so that didn't work for me for those reasons. So that's why I got this one. This was like the lesser of two evils, even though this one is pretty light. It works, but as I said, I wouldn't go running out to get it because it just didn't wow me. I feel like it's just it's just a bag of tricks because it's got all of these gadgets and gadgets to it. So if you have this foundation, please let me know what you think. In the comment section let me know your experiences with it um, if you know what to do with the sponge let me know that because I have no idea how that's supposed to work out and I really 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 would like to know uh, I don't know what else to say I told you that the shade range sucks they only have two dark skin shades which is bullshit um, even though this color isn't exactly my shade for foundation I still like it but I know that some even like some lighter skin girls that are like caramel complexion are using 500 suede also so uh, long combs their shade range for this foundation is trash but uh, I digress okay so that's the review for this um, I hope that this was helpful I hope that my honest opinion of this is going to assist you in choosing if you want this foundation or not. Um, if you get this foundation, let me know how you like it. I would love, love, love to know your opinion in the comment section. Um, if you had this foundation but like returned it or something, tell me why. I would love to know. Um, just anything, anything you have to say about this foundation or life in general, leave it in the comment section. And that's all I've got for you guys today. Please like this video, please subscribe, and follow me on all my social media, Instagram, Snapchat, ooh, Instagram, Snapchat, Vine, anything else? Instagram, Snapchat, Vine, I think that's it. I might be leaving something out, but if I am, it will be in the description bar along with any other information that is pertinent to this video. So, that's it. That's all I've got for you. Thank you for watching. I love you all dearly, 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 dearly. So, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.